produced by Flexi Live for LTV. Hello, everybody. How are you? We come in peace. Let's have some lights. We have some lights. Who is? Is that a real? Is that a band? <laughs> Maybe, do we have any lights here or not? Or is it just a? Are we going to do this in a kind of like club atmosphere? <laughs> Maybe I should start singing jazz or something. Um, marvelous. Then you. Now we can see these gorgeous men in front of us <laughs> in, with their rippling muscles. Um, okay, everybody, it's great to see you. It's the launch of Tech Hub Bucharest, everybody! Yes. Fantastic. Uh, my name is uh, Mike Butcher. I, I uh, am the uh, European editor for TechCrunch, and I have the very great pleasure of being in... <laughs> I'm buying that man a beer later. Um, so I have a great, great, great pleasure to have uh, come up with the idea with Elizabeth Varley back in 2009 of uh, putting together something in London, a roundabout, a place called Silicon Roundabout. And uh, it was a fantastic opportunity and I'm so excited that you guys are joining the, joining the tribe, the entrepreneurial international movement of Tech Hub. Um, we're going to hear from our panel. Introduce yourselves, starting for, with Bogdan. Introduce yourself. Um, hi, everybody. My name is Bogdan Yordake. I'm the co-founder of um, How to Web and also the co-founder of uh, Tech Hub. Proud member of the Tech Hub family. Fantastic. Hi, guys. My name is James Knight. I work in London with Mike, and my job is to help set up new international sites. Fantastic. Hello everyone, my name is Daniel Dragomir. I'm co-founder of TechHub Bucharest. Hi, I'm also co-founder of TechHub. <laughs> and probably best known for uh, X3, Me? design studio. Ah, oh, sorry, co-founder of TechHub, yeah. Uh, Stefan Sakal from Timisoara, X3, probably best known for that. And of course, TechHub. Fantastic, right, let's hear it for these guys, fantastic. <laughs> now, I'd like to hear I'd like to hear, first of all, what the hell happened? I mean, how did you come up with the, you know, how, how are we here? You know, how did this place get put together? Do you want to tell us the story? Um, yes. The, well, the quick, the quick version of the story would be that, as you know, until uh, the summer of 2012, we had um, a hub called Bucharest Hub, which was uh, dedicated to tech people, to entrepreneurs. And at some point, the... the Bucharest Hub team decided to move on and start Geekcelerator. And, well, we felt that we should, you know, put together a hub. Uh, so um, that was, I think, uh, June 2012. We started looking for space uh, to, to open the hub. It took us probably two months to figure out that that would be a hard task. Um, and it would take a lot of time. And we abandoned the project for a couple of months. And just before How to Web, last year, um, when I had a beer with Daniel, we kind of um, thought that he could be the right person to kick off things and um, move the project forward. So um, that's something that I want to really underline here, is that a big part of what you see around um, around you, and a big part of uh, what Tech Hub Bucharest is, is uh, definitely his credit. Great. So a big uh, round of applause. Fantastic. So, uh, Stefan, yeah? yeah? Get uh, the mic to Stefan. So, um, what, what, is, what does being, creating something like this mean to you and, uh, as an entrepreneur? I mean, does it, is, it, uh, is it important to have something like this? Why do you, why do you think it's important? No, obviously. O obviously, it's really, really important. Um, from my perspective, something that, I mean, probably the biggest problem that all of us have is getting to know the right people, uh, knowing who to trust, who to recommend, uh, having your own personal network, so to speak. And something like this, Tech Hub, is something that just makes that a whole lot easier. It's not even about, you know, the desks and, you know, the events. It's about the people. 
It's about getting the right people in the right place. And but but why do you think? Um, I mean, what do, what is it particularly about this this uh, th this organization that that might be useful? Do you think? Well, probably the best. Um, from my experience, at least from my point of view, it's it's the way we got together is pretty much the best uh, story for that. Um, I had no idea how this is going to work out. I had no idea uh, what this is going to look like, you know. But trusting Bogdan and trusting Daniel, uh, that's you know all all there was to it, right? And then getting in in the same circle and bed with them, right? Okay. Um, don't it's go into the, yeah, don't don't go don't, into the dirty go. details, yeah, no, please. <laughs> yeah, no, 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 it's fine. Um, it was just a phase. <laughs> just a phase, yeah. Yeah, we moved on and, you know. Um, That's what they told you in school, right? <laughs> yeah. Well, you guys want to... Okay, um, let, me, let, me, let me turn to you, Daniel. Now, Daniel, why, uh, why particularly do you think it's important to be part of not just because uh, basically there are a lot of co-working spaces aren't there so what actually let me ask you two questions firstly what does it what does uh, something like tech hub bring to uh, the party as it were that's more than just like office space and like co-working and wi-fi and coffee what what is there more to it what, what's more to it than that firstly and the second thing is why is it important to be part of an international scene First of all, Tech Hub is uh, a co-working space dedicated to tech entrepreneurs. So I think that is very important because all the events we are going to organize... Just, just tech entrepreneurs, it's not people trying to make a documentary about ch ch lions in Africa or whatever. It's about tech entrepreneurs. Yes, exclu exclusively tech. You support also lions in Africa. You support lions in Africa, I'm glad. There are, there's a lion in Africa breathing a sigh of relief right now. <laughs> But no. But why is it important? I mean, what else? What are you going to do this extra over and above what normal spaces do? First of all, we are going to organize a lot of events uh, exclusively for tech entrepreneurs. Events about how to improve your business skills, uh, pitching events for tech entrepreneurs, and events about how to in the tech part of things. And uh, let me let me let me. Uh, I'm going to flip the question over to Bogdan. What's the international aspect of this? Well, I think having Tech Hub, um, the Tech Hub network as a partner for Tech Hub Eucharist got us uh, a lot of credibility for the local partners. It got us a lot of knowledge about ho how to organize things. And something that's really important connection to other entrepreneurs from all around Europe and hopefully all around the world uh, pretty soon. So. Being part of this of this tech tribe um, gives you access to a lot of opportunities, a lot of knowledge, a lot of people uh, that can help you move forward. So being focused and then being international um, are two key things about Tech Hub uh, Bucharest and about the Tech Hub network from yeah, my perspective. Great. I know everybody was, is eager to get to the beer, so we'll, we're going to move through our panels. But I want to hear from last from you, uh, James. Um, what I mean, what's some of the plans that, that you might be putting in place to create that bigger international network? Yeah, sure. So first of all, I know me and Mike are pretty damn jealous that we didn't get one of these tops. <laughs> um, Speak for yourself. Well, yeah. <laughs> I prefer my leather jacket. Thanks very well, much. You know. Um, so. Over the next six months or so, uh, Mike and I, along with uh, some of the London team, are going to be working on several new sites within Europe. Um, the overall aim of this is that we have a large interconnected network of physical sites which entrepreneurs can freely move between. So if you are a tech entrepreneur in Bucharest, you have access to all of Europe. And that's not just in terms of recruitment, but in terms of capital, in terms of all these things that you need to build a company. Um, so that's pretty exciting. Um, we are also on the verge of launching an internal member network, which will, again, allow uh, members across the network to be able to interact with each other, uh, well, virtually. Um, so yeah, I think we have some cool stuff coming so, up. So guys, guys and girls here who are working on startups will be able to um, ping out to the whole of the in international tech hub network saying, I'm working on this. Does anybody want to join me? Anybody want to co-found something? I'm looking for CTOs. I'm looking for engineers, talent, product, UX, design. It for and who wants to go for a beer? And who wants to go for a beer? Exactly. <laughs> Fantastic. Well, give these guys a hand. Um, thank you very much.
And we're going to get our next panel up. We're, we're now Skyping in. Oh, oh, we're Skyping in. Sorry. We're Skyping. I apologise. What are we doing? I'm going to switch over to a new continent. Please remember that this is the first day of Tech Hub Bucharest. It's the first event at Tech Hub Bucharest. So we'll screw up a lot of things. <laughs> a lot of things. And you will witness that. And everybody watching the video stream will witness that. And hopefully you'll... Never do a live a demo. Yeah, never do a live demo. Uh, you'll pardon, pardon us for that. But never trust the Wi-Fi at a conference either. Oh, boy. Are yeah. you switching? Okay. Never use Windows. James, you should have got a better computer. <laughs> so just as a quick introduction, this is Elizabeth Barley, who is uh, the second co-founder of TechHub in London. Thanks, Elizabeth. Thank you. Right, right. We're now going to hear from some startups, which is very much what Tech Hub's all about. So thanks very much, guys. Uh, can we have uh, George, Bobby, and Vladimir on? Where are you guys? We need somebody to roust about. Give them a big hand. Oh, <laughs> right, introduce yourself very briefly so that everybody knows who you are. Go, go, Vlad. Uh, my name is Vladimir. I'm the founder of Uberview. We're a company in the social marketing space. My name is uh, Giorgio Lemnaro. Uh, I'm founder of Green Horse Games and we're building our first uh, community-based game, carscap.com. Hello everyone, I'm Bobby Boyko, I'm co-founder of Mavenhut. We're building classic competitive multiplayer games like a multiplayer solider. Fantastic. I think we had one more mic, didn't we? Uh, somebody stole it. Uh, you can get that, one, that other mic up here. Okay guys, let's do it. And now, uh, we, we, know, um, we know each other from Seacamp days and, yeah. and stuff like that. I mean, we were back in the day, early days. So. But one of the things, I mean, obviously Seacamp did a lot of work in the, around Europe trying to get everybody together, etc., etc. But what, what, are the, what, what do you think really helped you, like, being able to network in a cluster, uh, you know, of a physical cluster like TechUp? Yeah, so, uh, yeah, we were discovered by Seacamp, which is based in London, and now it's an international um, event. And company, um, and what Seedcam did for us, and what I'm hoping uh, Tech Hub will do for you, is to first put you in the limelight, and I think that's very important because the startup needs the attention from the VCs, from the customers, and uh, also to give you access to the network. And for us, Seedcam was extremely, extremely important because we could met entrepreneurs that had success uh, before before us and that could give us very good advice and uh, 
I'm sure TechHop will enable this for you so you don't have to move to London to get the same level of uh, access to people and the same exposure to investors and first customers and stuff. Fantastic, George. Uh, so you, you guys are eRepublic. You've actually got a space in the building, I gather. I've been uh, at eRepublic. I, I was the founder of eRepublic, e and uh, I'll, um, I'm not in an executive position anymore since one year ago. All right. Yeah. Sure. But you now you're. But but this is going to be an opportunity for you to be able to see new startups coming through. First of all, it it's uh, an opportunity for me uh, as a startup, uh, because um, as uh, I mean. Uh, Vladimir and Bobby have been to accelerators. I've never been into an accelerator, and so I don't have the, their experience. And uh, the moment when I uh, uh, heard um, Bogdan talking about about this, it's for sure it started. Uh, it looked interesting because it's one idea that uh, Bogdan and uh, the other guys came up. So it should have been interesting. It sounded interesting. And uh, right now, I mean, today I've, it, it was the day when we moved here. So I can tell you why <laughs> we moved here. Yeah, why did you move? Um, uh, first of all, it's because, uh, because of uh, Bogdan, uh, Dan, and Stefan, those guys, we, I, I, uh, I know them from some time, and I know them that they can create great stuff when they, uh, when they want. And um, also the fact that this uh, is a um, place where other startups are uh, working, and I know I'm very passionate about history, and I always believe that the, the, the uh, starting from countries that are going out and and making and exchanging ideas and, and making the trade with other countries, they're getting better. And I think it's the same with, with startups. When you exchange ideas and uh, you learn from others, it's. Uh, it's it's a great it's a great thing and this is a great environment to to do that and also it's a great great location. <laughs> Fantastic, Bobby. Um, Mike, you, you were at uh, Amsterdam recently in the Next Web. Um, I mean, do you think that it's important to be able to say where you're from that you're, there's there's action happening in a scene that people can? For instance, one thing that I found in London was that people would come into London and go like, "What's happening? You know, where shall I go? What conferences are on?" I said, "Well, something happened yesterday, but." You know, t today there's no, there's, there's no kind of event or something you can go to. But the, in a way, if you have this sp physical space, you can just go and hang out, can't you? Well, we actually, uh, we've actually done that in Hamburg. When we got there, we just went to a, <clears throat> to a, similar, to a similar place and stayed there for two days and we've met some people. Met some people, yep. you got, got to network with people. And <clears throat> the other thing that I, um, I'm sure this kind of place will uh, will improve is the connect the connections between the members of this community i mean in my last two years of entrepreneurship where while we launched uh, maven hut and we grew the best advice and the best connections i've got were from people from uh, vladimir from amy from brainy and that you you also know because we knew each other from uh, from bucharest we gain trust by working together on different things. And when we, uh, we went outside of, uh, of Romania, basically we didn't have a problem recommending each other because we knew, uh, we knew each other, we knew that we can count on each other and stuff like that. So I think this kind of place will, uh, will improve on that also. So the virtual has not quite replaced the actual physical thing of just interacting with each other day to day. No, no, I don't think so. I don't think so. And Vladimir, do you think that, um, I mean, one of the things that we've seen in the tech hub in London is people just being able to sit somewhere and go, put their hand up and go, can somebody help me with something? Do you think that sort of thing could happen? Yeah, sure. I think that's, that's the goal. If you come here to just hang up and have a beer, I think you're missing the point. I think the point is to develop something and to ship something and to get your customers excited about the stuff that you're building. And the reality is uh, Bucharest and Europe in general, it's not Silicon Valley, not just necessarily because we don't have access to their investors, but because we don't have the culture uh, to build great things. Uh, and we can hope universities can fix that or we can uh, I know, group ourselves into communities that all work together for a common goal to develop kick-ass products and to make our customers happy. And it's easier to do that when you're surrounded by people who are 
uh, working on the same goal and they can share their experience with you so you're not just the only crazy one doing it. And that can help you on, on a business level but also on a personal level. So when I started uh, with my ideas of conquering the world and going outside Romania and stuff like that, it, I, nobody supported me. <laughs> I mean, uh, if, if people in, in, in Romania thought I was crazy, uh, but my parents didn't understand what the hell was I doing. So was the parents. So, yeah, so uh, I mean, being surrounded by people who understand what you're doing and have the same goal helps you, helps your business and also helps you on a personal level. So, so that's if you're crazy important. and you're surrounded by other crazy people, you don't feel so alone. Exactly, yeah, exactly. Uh, and if you have, you're having a bad day, there's someone next to you who may have an even shittier day. So that Makes can feel boost the morale, yeah. <laughs> Fantastic. Well, that's brilliant, guys. Thank you very much for talking to us. Excellent stuff. Give them a hand. And lastly, now we're going to hear from our, uh, some investors, I believe. Uh, Bogdan, Mike, tell Mike, me that. Yeah. That's my turn. That's your turn. Right. Over to Bogdan. Um, so the next two panels, uh, in the next two panels, we'll talk more with uh, um, other stakeholders from the local tech community. What we're doing, what we're trying to do right now is do something like a 360 degree analysis on you know, the most important people that uh, we have around in the tech uh, community of Bucharest and have a talk about how can we work together as a community uh, through Tech Hub uh, Bucharest and with Tech Hub Bucharest to build better things for all of us. So, with no further comments and introductions, the next panel um, will include Andrei Pitish, Radu Georgescu, and Marianne Dushan. Um, I want to invite them all on stage. Give them a hand, please. We have just one microphone, so we have to be... Um, quite handy. Um, guys, quick in introductions from each of you about uh, what you do in uh, your well normal days and evenings when you don't go on stage at Tech Hub Ucrest. Uh Hi, I'm uh, Andrei Pitish and uh, uh, let's say uh, I'm very, very happy that this is happening and uh, that uh, local startup communities uh, is getting together. Uh, in when I'm not speaking here, uh, I'm uh, uh, doing angel investments. I have uh, invested in Clever Taxi and in iRewind so far. Uh, this is one thing. Another thing is that I'm the president of Anis, and uh, Anis is uh, mostly the association of the larger companies in the software industry. Uh, and the fact that uh, we would like to partner also with startups and uh, bring, uh, make a, like a big community with all the software companies, be them startups or big international companies, proof to that is that our offices also moved across the street right here on the same floor. Uh, and uh, we'll, we'll work together on that front. So, you know. Let's uh, let Marianne say Marianne. a few words also. Hi, everybody. My name is Marian Dushan, and uh, I uh, working by myself when I was a kid. Uh, I was an entrepreneur, I am an entrepreneur, and I will be an entrepreneur. I love to be an entrepreneur. Um, I am also an investor. I invest in several businesses, and I uh, will remain in this part of, uh, let's say, that I like to invest uh, every day. I am searching for new businesses. Thank you. Hey, I'm Rado. Um, did my first company in 92, sold it in 94. Uh, all in all, uh, launched 27 companies, failed 20 of them. Uh, three excellent exits and four kind of something. And still counting. And still counting, yeah, absolutely. Well, actually, one of my lousiest investments was uh, an incubator 10 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> so I really love being here. <laughs> let's, let's just hope we ride a different trend. <laughs> okay. Um, what I want to ask you is, you've, been, you've invested in local tech companies uh, or you've built local tech companies uh, for the last 10, 15 years. 
What are the most interesting things that you look around when you see the local community, local tech community in Bucharest as it is today? Can you put that into perspective, maybe? Mm, in, my, in my view, is uh, to have, uh, let's say, a good team, uh, not just technical team, also business team that understand the business, understand the marketing. And uh, if the, the business are, is a overview in all the world, in all around the world, it's not just look focus on Romania, that business I'm going to invest for sure. Uh, also, when uh, when I left Ixia in 2010 and uh, started to, I wanted to invest. This is why I left. Uh, the first place that I went to was uh, actually the former hub, let's say the biggest hub, because you know I thought that that's where the startup are. And uh, actually, and this is how we met. Th this is how we met. And uh, actually, there were not a lot of startups in 2010. In, in it, it was just starting up, and uh, there were a few that were already invested in by by them, uh, but. Uh, uh, I found that there, are, mm, there were not enough startups back then. And right now, I'm happy to see that the room is full of what I think everybody is here, a uh, tech startup here. And, uh, and, and we hope that, you know, with places like this, uh, things will start to, to you know. To, to grow. I would grow. say that everybody in this room is a tech startup aficionado. It, well, uh, either an um, uh, entrepreneur or an and, investor and, and, or and somebody who wants to support the, the whole ecosystem. So yeah, that's a very big part of yes, and also to just add having entrepreneurs is not enough. To, to add to the community part, uh, we've uh, uh, also started the Tech Angels group that we're all part of. Uh, and uh, we, I'm also um, a co-founder of Tech Lounge. Uh, we, together with TechSoup, we're starting a program to uh, scout for entrepreneurs in, in the tech uh, uh, computer science faculties mostly, but not only. I mean, but, but through in the students area, and uh, and we found quite a, quite a few interesting teams. We have a program, Innovation Labs, that's going to have a demo day soon. It's a sort of a pre-accelerator program, and uh, you know, if we were not successful, we will go to the high school and then to the you know kindergarten. Kindergarten, yeah, that's from there, you know. <laughs> Edu Take education in kindergarten. So uh, one one education. thing. One thing to mention about uh, the demo day at uh, Innovation Labs is that that will happen at yeah, Tech Hub Bucharest. Radu? Yeah, so I have two kind of answers of, to, uh, to your question. Um, your question being, what am I looking when, when investing at? Um, so I have the, the, the formal official answer. You know, I'm looking for investors, uh, for, for investments in uh, kind of between 1 million and 10 million, sweet spot at uh, 2 million. Uh, companies that are into e-commerce, online, this, this, this. I mean, the formal thing that you can read on the website. But the, uh, the, the real thing is that what any investor is looking, especially uh, from startups, is the energy. I mean, you want somebody that can change the world. You want somebody that can really do the stuff. I mean, you, you look into somebody's eyes and you see that that guy really believes in what he's doing. I, I mean... Look, you're, you're creating something. You have a piece of paper you, that transforms in a PowerPoint. That PowerPoint transforms in a project. That project transforms into a business plan. And then the freaking business plan transforms into a product that was created by yourself. And that product is being used by somebody. You know, somebody is using the product that you created. And if, if the hair is getting up on your hands when, when this is happening, and when that somebody is actually paying you, and this makes you really shaking, this is the partner I'm looking for. That's a good answer. <laughs> um, one other thing that we want to announce today um, is that Marianne, who's also the CEO of uh, Capital uh, and Evenimentul Zilei, two of the biggest uh, publishing um, one of the biggest publishing companies in, uh, in Romania. Um, along with How to Web, we'll start um, doing a, a weekly spotlight on one tech startup in Romania in the Capital Magazine printed edition. Um, and that's, that's something really important that we, we try to, we'll try to continue in the, in the, next, uh, in the next months uh, because we see the hub as a place where we'll you, we can create a lot of synergy between um, our interests and our audiences and our energies. Um, guys, 
We'll just keep it short because beer is getting uh, warm. Thanks for your time. It was, it's fantastic having you here, and hopefully we'll have tens of events with you along. Uh, after the next one, so we can then switch roles. Um, next panel, we've invited uh, another, um, well, different, different type of uh, people, different roles in the tech community. Uh, we've invited a few managers of R&D centers in Romania. Um, and I want to invite on stage Alex Marinescu uh, from Electronic Arts, Romania, uh, Teo Ceaușu from Ixia, and Dragos Georgica from Adobe. So I had a chat with them before going on stage and everybody was saying, if you'll talk about entrepreneurship, you know, what should we talk about because we are from the corporate world? And well, the thing is that I think that what they do is uh, it's kind of really connected to the, to the tech entrepreneurship area and scene. And that is because R&D centers like this look for startups uh, to acquire on the longer term uh, if things go well. If you build a game in Bucharest and you think that one of your potential exits might be to Electronic Arts, you have a hot contact right here that you can talk to. Uh, and that's definitely not a bad thing. Also, it's from the strategic point of view, having um, R&D centers with a lot of employees from one area uh, can help out that sector to become more, um, well, to grow through startups because of the competences that people acquire from that area. I'll, I'll um, ask each of them to say a few words about uh, what they do and uh, what their companies do. Hi, I'm Alex Marinescu. I'm head of operation for Electronic Arts in Romania. Louder. Uh, in Romania, we have uh, let's say three main areas that we operate on. One is an R&D for uh, sports business, and we develop uh, in Romania FIFA for uh, almost all platforms. Uh, another uh, area is a testing center for uh, all EA games, and the third area uh, it's a service, uh, that, uh, service center for uh, the corporate function in EA. How many people are at uh, Electronic Arts Romania? In this moment, we are over 1,000 people in Romania and uh, we are growing. Hi everybody, my name is Teodor Ceaușu. I'm country manager and VP of engineering in Ixia Romania. Um, Ixia, is, um, Ixia Romania is uh, established here since 2004. And basically we are developing traffic generators and uh, moni traffic monitors for everything uh, it's related to IP. Um, among the various functions within the company, um, the majority of our employees are engineers in uh, software development and QA, but we do have also many engineers in technical support, in professional services, and uh, some other areas. So we are about uh, 400 now, yeah, just a little bit less than 400, and uh, we are still growing. Thank you. Hi everyone, uh, I'm Dragos Georgica, Director of Engineering at Adobe. Um, Adobe started uh, in, in Romania, Adobe Romania started with uh, Adobe acquiring a local company, a startup. So our DNA is very much entrepreneurship and uh, looking for building awesome products and getting connected with customers. And right now in Adobe Romania, which is an R&D center, we are focusing on a lot of engineering on the next generation Adobe products regarding uh, media, media creation and publishing. And um, I think, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, can you tell me a little bit about how you got involved until now with the local tech community or how do you think you'll uh, you can you can do that in the in the future. Uh, I think that Adobe has some interesting uh, uh, meetups that you organize, right? Yeah. So I, I'm a big fan and supporter of um, anything that will um, basically push Romania up the value chain 
from uh, engineering excellence to more than engineering, basically entrepreneurship and working on real products. And that's something that I'm following and uh, pursuing also internally inside Adobe on the type of uh, portfolio management that we go through periodically. But also I'm supportive of any type of initiative that goes outside the corporate boundaries, such as the, this tech hub, which I'm glad uh, it's coming to life. And uh, Bam. besides that, uh, one piece of information that many of you probably don't know, Bogdan and I share a common history back in the university days when we basically were roommates. So we have a lot of stories that cannot be shared in public. If, if you buy so us enough beers, beers, we can tell you a lot of uh, crazy stories about our college years. Yeah. yeah. So we were involved since the very beginning with How to Web, and we also organized a lot of local events at our headquarters here. And uh, basically we tried to inspire people to, to look for customer validation and build, build great products. Theo? So, uh, um, Ixia is uh, Ixia's activity in what about supporting the um, local entrepreneurship can be divided in two. Uh, one is external uh, and one internal. Um, in what about the external activity, we are doing mainly sponsorships uh, on multiple levels, starting with uh, some organizations representing high school uh, students. Um, we do have a very significant support we are offering to um, local universities, especially to computer science and electronics. And uh, for example, we've been one of the main sponsors of the hackathon in, in, in February, I think. Um, and uh, the last but not the least, uh, we are the main sponsor of How to Web. Um, and the main sponsor of the uh, Startup Spotlight competition which was one of the key components of How to Web last year. We got $20,000 of in cash awards for the startups from you. Great, and it was a pleasure for me to hear from Bogdan that all the winners, uh, they did the awesome, right, after, the, after the, the contest. And what about the internal um, uh, entrepreneurship activity? I don't know how many of you know, but in, in companies like, like Adobe, Electronic Arts, or Ixia, there is a uh, very significant activity in, in what about the innovation. Any company in the world wants to obtain innovation from its people. And uh, uh, besides the, let's say, the normal hackathon, yeah, uh, I can say that uh, we can have a how to web every quarter, an internal how to web, yeah, of course, with other uh, in other size. But, uh, um, I think uh, in the end uh, what can be said is uh, that these companies are investing in uh, what about the innovation infrastructure, right? And uh, I think this is extremely important for a young market like us, like, like ours. Thank you. Electronic Arts, uh, from the beginning, uh, we are, uh, we are, we are involved in the uh, university community. And uh, we will open a laboratory uh, like six years ago in, uh, in Politecnia University. We offer uh, uh, various uh, courses uh, in the gaming uh, areas for uh, uh, young uh, students. And uh, in the last period, uh, we become uh, more involved with, uh, the, uh, with Hackathon and uh, Innovation Lab. Uh, this is on the external side. On the internal side, uh, before the crisis, unfortunately, uh, we uh, we used to create like um, an innovation lab, I can say, but was like little incubators with two, three people that are allowed for uh, for a month to, to build a game that they want and uh, try to publish uh, that that game. You want to add something, yeah. please? Just want to add, uh, some of you may know a guy from Adobe called Mark Randall. I know he, he was a guest f on How to Web two times. And these guys actually managed to kind of instill a culture of innovation I inside Adobe right now, and it's going uh, viral. And the program is called Kickstart, and basically allows every individual to take some time off 
inside a company, have access to some resources, including money, and basically go out there while coming to work and co having one idea, validating that idea with outside customers, and basically proving that the idea is valuable before writing any line of code. So that's, uh, that's something that's really interesting going on right now. Thank you. Um, quite a few common routes and quite a few common objectives. Thanks for your time. Um, we'll move to the last panel of the evening. Give a big hand of applause to these guys. Something, I gotta tell you something from the like inside information is that without big tech companies supporting the entrepreneurship environment, our job would be way, way, way more tougher. Uh, Mike, you wanted to? I just wanted to say one last thing before we have a beer. No, 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 you have a panel to, to do. Oh, I have, to, I have yeah. another panel? Okay, yeah. let's do the panel. Okay. <laughs> Man, you guys are working me hard. Let's go for it. What have we got next? So we'll have a panel with VC funds and support programs. Uh, we'll have on stage Mihai Sfințescu, Dan Lupu, Paula Preutese, and Catalina Russo. Okay, great. Let's get those guys. <laughs> right. I'm going to share my mic with you. And we're going to get the other one up here. Marvelous. Hi. Fantastic. Hello. How are Hello, you? I'm fine. Wonderful. And I, you know, I made up into my uh, career a very high top, but never had uh, such a top hair chair, and um, I can't do it. So, hello, everybody. No expense has been spared, um, as you can tell. However, um, I, I can stand up for Bogdan and for Daniel. Uh, I can do this, and uh, the success they registered today, having so many ladies for a tech event, is impressive. I have. Woo! Let's hear it for the ladies. Events. Intr introduce yourself. Introduce yourself. My name is Arti. You heard from Bogdan that my name is Paula Preutesi, but for today, my name is Arti. And this is the only thing you need to know for tonight for my speech. And uh, I'll come back what it really means. It's an acronym. But which company are you with? Romanian American Foundation. Right, the Romanian American Foundation. Fantastic. And uh, Mihai, could you? Uh, my name is Mihai Sfintescu, Sfintescu, sorry. <laughs> I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm a partner with uh, 3TS Capital Partners and I'm head of uh, Catalyst Romania Growth Fund. Thank you. Fantastic. And, uh, okay. Oh. Hi, I'm Catalina Rusu. I'm a co-founder in Geekcelerator. It's an early um, stage investment fund. We invest internationally, although uh, all founders are Romanians. And perhaps I'll speak about this a bit later. Fantastic. And if you could just pass the mic to Dan. OK, sorry. I wasn't aware that I was supposed to be here. Otherwise, you'd have enjoyed 20 slides presentation. OK, hold the mic like this. OK, yeah. like this? OK. <laughs> uh, like Bono. Uh, I'm Dan Lupo, I'm a partner with uh, Early Bird. Uh, we are raising a new fund uh, targeting C and Turkey, and uh, hopefully we'll be up and running in the next uh, two months. Right, we're going to keep this panel real short. I want to hear what's the one, what, one or the two biggest things that you guys are going to put into Tech Hub to make it rock. Go. I'm going to put, uh, first of all, money into companies that are, that are going to be active here. Yes. And you said how, two. How you said much? You said, you, you said two. When? <laughs> as soon as the next two months. Will you, be doing, will you commit to doing an office hours session here once a month? Actually, this is what I offered Bogdan already. Good. Let's hear that. Fantastic. Arti, let's hear it from you. What are you going to say? RT means Applied Research, Technology, Innovation, and Entrepreneurship. Um, it's a fellowship program of Romanian American Foundation, and uh, we offer you now grants for Applied Research, Technology, Innovation, and Entrepreneurship. So the um, open call has started on April 25th, and the deadline is May 25th. So apply, read the document, uh, search for RT, and you'll see what is the requirements, what are the requirements for registering for this open call. And obviously, because they come from Tech Hub, you'll give them an automatic in, and they won't have to fill in any paperwork at uh, all. Yes, they do, but there's only one form, which is called expression of interest. It's very short, and uh, you can manage it. And you'll get them in there for us. Yeah. Marvelous, good. <laughs> Marvelous. Uh, and Mihai, what are you going to do? 
We'll put uh, expertise and money into the tech community. Uh, we already um, did investments in Romania and, uh, and probably very soon we'll announce uh, the first investment of the newest fund, uh, Catalyst Romania. And what uh, are you personally going to do? Are you going to come down here and be a mentor for those entrepreneurs? Yes, I'll, I'll be happy to do that because we need to create the, uh, the whole ecosystem. I mean, obviously for us it's important. We, we invest in companies after commercial validation. But, uh, you know, for the companies to get there, uh, uh, I think all of us need to contribute and, uh, and help them Good. to, to get there. Let's hear, some, hear it for mentors. Fantastic. And Catalina, what do you, well, I think you'll okay. do a few yeah, things. Okay. Go ahead. <laughs> Take a mic. Uh, there will be mentorship, of course, because we were involved previously in um, Business Design Academy, which was um, an academy for um, early stage entrepreneurs and also share our experience, the experience we gather on the international stage, because as I was saying, we are investing internationally, and uh, hopefully money. <laughs> well, that's all I need to hear about. Fantastic, thanks very much, everybody. Fantastic. Thank you. Bogdan, are we done? So just to wrap things up, uh, I wanted to say a big, big thanks to uh, the Tech Hub team. I'm just like, I'm, I'm just the name on the bottle, everybody knows me, but there are actually a lot of people who do hard work and um, have put this, this evening together, have put this space together and have made this opportunity uh, ready for all of you. So big thanks to Daniel Dragomir, uh, to Irina Scarlat, uh, to Monica Obojano for making this possible. Big thanks for, to Victor Anastasiu because he's the guy who helped us get this space. Uh, big thanks to Mike and well, James, obviously, and Elizabeth, uh, and to Tech Hub uh, Network for helping us to get the knowledge and get the brand and get the word out uh, and being part of Tech Hub. Thank you all for showing up today. It's fantastic. Well done. Thank you very much, Bogdan. Well done. Fantastic. Yes. Produced by Flexi Live for LTV.